Alright folks, welcome back to Karak Alvaron's Gaming. We're back in Valheim and today we have another seed discovery video. If you are a frequent flyer on my channel, you know that I do Valheim videos where I seek out and search seeds for maypoles. It's just one of the cool little side games, I believe. That you can do in Valheim. I think maypoles are cool. Of course you can go into cheat mode and build them anytime that you want. And there was a time in the summer where you could build maypoles regularly. You didn't have to cheat at all. And that will probably come back sometime in the future. So just to be clear, maypoles are not necessary to play Valheim. However, maypoles do give you a plus one rested bonus. And they're kind of cool to have. So before I get going on this video, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and it keeps me motivated as a creator. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. So this particular seed is... There's two maypoles that are both fairly close to the ocean. Not as close to the ocean as I ideally like, but close enough and the map is actually decent now one of the things that i like about one of these maypole locations is is you've got the five stone right on the water i like these five stones because they can't be destroyed I'm not really sure what the purpose is for these i don't know if there's something in the valheim lore for this this is a fantastic place to build okay um i can imagine building a nice um, dock here with a workstation and just fencing all in between these stones would be great now of course you've got right over here the little village okay and this village has got a couple of houses plenty of signposts which is odd some wood resources and of course a maypole okay so you've got one two three four five house I'm sorry four houses um, and you know with it you get the resist you get the Perspective. Um, there's some some uh, boars running around. There's also some deer, um, some berries. But you got this maypole. Now this maypole isn't horribly located. Um, I can see you building maybe a little a hut here for your rest, where you slap down a bed, and then maybe go down there to the five stone where you have your building center and port or whatever. And you know these other locations, these other houses can be farmed for a field. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's not horrible. Uh, it's not right on the water, though. And the maypoles, I usually like them when they're right on the water. But this one is pretty good because it's got that five, those five stone structure right there. And I like that. Oh, yeah, there's also a bee <laughs> nest in here. Uh, so that's cool because you just saw that boar die. There is a bee. Bee's nest, so you've got that. Um, but let's real quickly go check out the second one. So from this f five stone pillars right through the woods here there's another village right on the water and boom here's your second maypole okay so you've got two maypoles that are literally i mean i'll, I'll just run it real quick um you know first before i do you again you've got your your houses you've got a natural port down here okay which is pretty good i think that's a decent location for a port um it's just a nice little harbor. You could do something pretty creative with that. I think this seed may be very good for um, a, a group playthrough or a duo playthrough because every you know each there's two maypoles pretty close to each other. And again, all we got to do is sprint through the woods here. You know, it's not that bad. I have no f food on me, so you know. I don't have that much stamina, but you know, you've got more berries here. You've got one of these clowns. You gotta beat him up. Come on, bud, where you going? I don't have any any weapons on me, so. Am I gonna die here? <laughs> That'd be great. I'll leave it in the video if I do, I promise. Alright, so he's done. Okay. So we ran through the woods, we got into a fight with a Grayling. And boom, here's the other town, the first one that we started in. So again, these are fairly close together. Now, the seed was recommended to me by a, um, a 
commenter on one of my videos. I'm not sure if he's a subscriber. I hope he is. But anyways, he took some time, commented on one of my other seed videos. His name is, well, his YouTube name is just a B, letter B. So I'm not really sure um, who he is. I haven't seen him on Reddit, and he doesn't have um, videos on his own channel. Otherwise, I would link it. But thank you, B, for that. Um, now, where is this location? Well, you do have to come over some water, but not really. And I'll show you in a minute the Valheim seed map. This is directly at about four o'clock from the spawn. And this is ocean out here, okay, which is cool. As a matter of fact, right out here, there's actually a couple of Leviathans. So this is actually a fairly good location. But how is it in terms of proximity to other stuff? We've got the two maypoles. That's really cool. We've got a nice location here with the five stone. I, I, I think that's a, this is an exceptional place to build. But let's take a look at the map. So here's the map. Okay, here's the spawn. So we're going to put those maypoles up real quickly to show you where those are. Boom. So you're right over here. So... I, I stand corrected. You do technically have to, to take a boat over here. You can't, there's no land here. However, what you do have, though, is you've, number one, you've got some good swamp here. You've got a really good um, dark forest biome here, some mountain, and then there's some plain. So if you get over here, and there's a little bit of swamp. So you've literally got a little bit of everything on this one little island which is it's good you, it should be decent for resource collecting let's take a look at the bosses okay so it's not a wonderful um breakout for the bosses now obviously you know ichthyr is on the main island by the spawn you know that the elder is right here to the north you can boat over to that pretty quickly plus you've got a little meadow here if you wanted to base up you've got motor here too the issue might be um, Yagloth and Bone Mass. Now, I've got no problem using a boat to get to um, bosses, right? But this Bone Mass over here looks like it'd be pretty challenging. Now, I normally like to go to Bone Masses where there's a little bit of either um, dark forest or a plain so I can build a little house. Now, up here, though, if you really pan out, Actually, what you see is, is all of the bosses are on this one island, right up here, which you're connected to, and your spawn, okay? However, your maypoles are not connected to that. So, is this close to, to, to the bosses? Technically, they're all on the same continent as your spawn point. So, you got that. I mean, you, you literally... Um, don't have to do too much. And this Yagloth and Bone Mass up here are, I, I, th I think, are reasonable. Um, you know, you've got Dark Forest here to get to Bone Mass, and you've got this little plains right here where you could, in theory, get to Bone Mass. And then you've got this little, little section of plains right here. You could probably build a fairly fortified structure until you get established into the plains. So overall, I think this is an excellent location for bosses. However, the two maypoles that we're at that we want to build near are on a separate little island, on a separate... So, again, you're going to have to... What I would think you'd do is you obviously build a um, transport. However, you can go by boat, you can go by portal, come back to your spawn, and then you can run up and build little portal bases all up and down this island, and boom, you got all your bosses. Where's the trader? Boom, right here. And that's probably one of the best benefits of this particular seed. Is this, yeah, you've got the bosses that you can run to, but the trader is literally just to the, a little bit further down from your, it's just a quick boat ride. And then there's another trader on the island that you're actually at. You can actually run to him if you want. So trader is very close as well. You're not going to have to go all over creation to find him, which is good. Leviathans, I said there were a couple the, yeah, there's one off the coast, right where, where you're at, okay? Then there's another one right across from the trader. That's pretty close. That's going to be enough to get you enough to build the harpoon anyways, and that's pretty much the main thing. That's, that's what you want to get from the Leviathan, but it's just nice to have that resource very close. You don't have to go searching for it. Beehives? You got three right by you. Again, you had that one that's right in the camp. We saw him kill the boar. 
There's a couple by the spawns. There's enough beehives where if you ex do some exploration, that's enough. Again, beehives are not critical, but early game all the way up to the swamp. I mean, beehive is great because you want that honey. It's pretty decent, easy, accessible food, um, and it's renewable. So that's that's beehives are great for that. Let's take a look real quickly at the boar spawns. So boom, you've got two right on this area by where your maypoles are now. Um, is that enough to pull them over into a uh, hog farm? I really don't know. I haven't tested that. My my experience with the boar stones is and boars is they will follow you to a certain area, but at some point they just start to wig out and just run back to where they were. Particularly if you got them around a boar stone, they always seem to run back towards that boar stone. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I, I just think it has something to do with those particular boars in the game. Now, when you find a village in Valheim, it usually has two or three boars roaming around. Those are free roaming boars. They will chase you until they really get tired and it takes them a while. But when you find a boar stone, if it's not extremely close to where you want to build your boars, often they will chase you to a degree and then they'll just run back. So there's that. Lastly, let's take a look and see how we're doing for crypts, where we may need to get that. And as you can see, we've got a pretty good spread of crypts here. The main island by the spawn, not so much. You've just got a couple here, and then, you know, you're really going to have to run up deep here. Um, this bone mass, however, is unbelievable, the amount of crypts. I mean, that's phenomenal. Okay, um, I, I think that's one of the densest... Crip, crip concentrations I've seen. Now, I haven't gone and explored this particular bone mass location. But if one of these crypts is fairly close to the actual spawn for bone mass... Excuse me, a little bit of a sneeze there. If it's actually very close, you, you can really um, use that to your advantage. Um, you can duck in and out of the crypt to get relief from the bone mass attacks if you need it. Um, you can build a little, um, you can build a bed right there and maybe build, you know, just fortify it as best you can on top of the crypt. Um, you know, bone mass can still hit that, but still it's, it's something. And if it's really watery around where that bone mass is, having an elevated area to fight from is pretty good. So I think this bone mass is exceptional um, for the amount of crypts, etc. It's not to say there aren't other crypts around as well. I mean, the, the swamps in this particular seed are pretty thick. But what about the dark forest crypts? Well, you know, you've got a whole chunk of them right here, which is right by where your maypoles are. Again, the, the maps are always deceiving. It looks like a long distance. It really isn't. Um, you'll be able to get over here pretty quickly, and that's enough crypts to give you enough certling cores and, and money, etc. Everything that you're going to need out of the Dark Forest crypts for a while. If you need more certling cores than that, I mean, I'm imagining you probably get 30 or 40, maybe more out of all of these. Depends. I mean, I've had crypts that have zero in them, and I've had crypts that have had uh, 10 or more, because they just have so many rooms filled with them. So I think these are that's a really solid location. Um, and then, of course, you've got your trader island right here. So there's one other thing I wanted to see with the troll caves, right? The troll cave, troll caves are fantastic because you can build a portal in there and you in the entrance, and then you can just close off the entrance, put a door on it, and you've got a mini little camp, okay? So boom, you can just portal right over here anytime you want, and then clear all these crypts if you want, and then if you want, come right down to the swamp and clear these. This little island, the Trader Island alone, should be enough crypts for you to get you to the point where you can get to motor. Okay, so lastly, let's take a look at the dragon eggs. And that's another nice feature of this particular seed is, is the motor location. You've got a whole bunch of eggs right by him. Because as you know, Dragging eggs to motor is a pain in the ass because they, they're heavy. 
So you can't carry three of them at a time. You got to carry one up, drop it in, carry one up, drop it in. I think you can carry two at a time. If I recall, what are they, 150? So if you have the belt, you can probably get away with um, get away with two of them. I, I really don't remember. It's been a while since I've done motor. Um, but yeah, I think overall this is a really good seed. I think, again, you've got these two maples, which if I go back, I should be in the middle of the night. I am. And I think this is going to be a pretty good seed for you to play if you're doing a duo playthrough with a buddy. If you've got, um, say you want to run a modded server with, you know, uh, groups of people, you could build a pretty huge town in these areas that has a bridge that goes to the other town or whatever. And, you know, you can build like your, your barracks right around these maypoles. Now, obviously, if you're doing that, you're probably going to have a mod that allows you to build maypoles wherever you want, right? But, uh, that said, if you could play, you like, I like to play the game just, you know, kind of straight at this point. I have a couple of mods that I play around farming, but other than that, I play it just straight. So, um, like my current seed that I'm playing is, is, you know, I've had to craft everything when it becomes available. So I was playing it when the maypole was able to be built. I built it at that time. If you're just looking to um, find maypoles and you want to build around a maypole and play a clean vanilla game with no mods, no cheats, this seed's great. If you want to do it with a buddy, it's great. I think this would also be, like I said, very good with a group of people. Anyways, I will leave the seed name in the description of the video. I'll also leave it in the description of... in the below the video I'll leave it in the video title so that way you have it in two places I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy um, the Valheim seed discovery videos that I put out on the channel if you do let me know in the comments below so I know that you're liking the content and if there's anything that I can do differently if you think maybe I'm too long-winded if you think uh, there needs to be better music. I don't know. Anything. I'm open to suggestions. I'd like to grow the channel. And your input will help me do that. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you again soon.